Welcome back, boys and girls. My name is MKX. Today I'm going to be your narrator for episode 3 of our Sailwind series called The Lone Voyage. And today we're going to be going from El Ankh Academy to Abekakor Town with one stop in Gold Rock City. Without further ado, we're going to jump right into the meat and potatoes of episode 3. Now that the intro is over, we're going to be taking books and rum to Albecacor Town with a total weight up to 228 pounds if I remember correctly. The total distance from Al Ankh Academy to Albecacor is about 100, 101 miles, leaving us with 5 days to go all the way across the Al Ankh map. Now we're going to release the front mooring and then the back mooring and one really big push. We're going to release the sail, release the main sheet, and take a sip of water. Alright, so now that we're in the water, I basically did no route planning for this, uh, this route that I'm taking here. But um, I basically know, because I've been playing Sailwind for the whole week prior, that I'm going to be going directly downwind all the way through Gold Rock City. So I decided that I'm going to stop here at Gold Rock City, and then after that, I'm going to continue onwards to Albuquerque Town. And I'll throw up a map of that right here. It didn't take me longer than like, I would say, two and a half minutes after we started sailing to notice the monstrous storm that's approaching. Now my biggest worry with the storm approaching is that the boat could flip, but from the previous playthroughs that I've been doing through the week, I've been transporting like six, seven hundred pounds in my Ladowl boat. I think that's what it's called, is a Dowl. Um, and I really haven't had any issues besides of the lack of wind to be able to propel you with 600 pounds, you know, in your boat. Not soon after, the wind picked up and the rain began to fall and I was heading directly into darkness right in the middle of a storm. Now normally storms make me nervous because it you know, provides an opportunity to, for you to lose all your cargo, your compass, and everything on your boat. But I was actually more calmed by the, the serenity of nothingness. It was complete black, couldn't see anything besides the raindrops hitting the water. And I, you know, I, I kind of vibed with that a little bit. There wasn't anything else that happened, pretty much, besides the one very close call we came to flipping over. But besides that, it was all smooth sailing straight through the storm. Now, after the storm passed over us, we slowed down a lot. So uh, this next little bit of uh, video is just going to be a time lapse starting right now.
Once we docked up in Gold Rock City, I finally bought a lantern post. And restocked on food. And water. Then right before I went to bed, I also bought a water bottle because you need a water bottle when you're sailing on the water. So I am confusion. When I woke up the next day, I picked up another mission to Abekakor town, which was two crates of coconuts weighing up to 100 pounds with only three days to deliver the cargo. Then with everything loaded into the boat, I started by releasing the main halyard. Then I released the rear mooring. After that, I released the front mooring. I tried to give the boat a little push, but sometimes it could be a pain getting out of Gold Rock City from the dock. So I ended up taking the front mooring and bringing it all the way up to the other side of the dock to give the boat the propulsion it needed to get out of the dock. After we were in the boat, I then released the main sheet. So now that we're all tucked into the boat and sailing to our final destination, I'll take this time to tell you about our route, which was basically sailed southwest all the way down from Gold Rock City until we got to view of Albuquerque Town. Oddly enough, my biggest concern with the journey to Albuquerque Town is my ability to totally overshoot either towards south or in the west direction and just sail directly past the island and not even see it. So I was very cautious and I was paying very close attention to my compass. And yeah, and that was basically it for the journey there. And it was very boring. There wasn't a lot of wind and the wind didn't shift at all. So I basically just sailed directly southwest all the way there. And um, I'm just gonna time lapse it here starting now. Alright boys and girls, that was the journey from Al Ankh Academy to Albuquerque Town. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend watching it from episode 1. You can find that up there in the top right corner right now. I know this video is very short and sweet. If you liked it, uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up. But either way, have a good rest of your day boys and girls.